My name is KP. Uh, the following song is called In Zubuya. Yeah, you can get it on digital stores. It's out. Now, get it. KP is a boy. Let's go. Let's buy it. Stone. Welcome to the Devon University of Technology in University of Tegwinios of Kopesh. The integrated institution-wide first-year student orientation is an integral of the Sigusegele We've Got You, a holistic student support initiative of Sia Pumelela, a collaborative effort of departments within the DUT ecosystem aimed at enhancing your campus experience and creating an enabling living collaboratively with the learning environment for students to pursue their academics and actively participate in the core curriculum. DUT itself, a developing university. Our strength is enhanced by the diversity of our cultures and traditions amongst staff and students. DUT, an institution with the proud heritage of academic, innovation, entrepreneurship and leadership excellence. The institution offers a broad spectrum of accredited academic qualifications. 
This range from certificate courses and national diplomas to bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees. Clustered in the six faculties, namely Faculty of Accounting and Informatics, Faculty of Art and Design, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, Faculty of Health Sciences, and the Faculty of Management Sciences. DUT is geographically divided into seven campuses, spread across the Devon and the Midlands centers. Steve Bigo Campus courses within the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment and the Faculty of Applied Sciences are on this campus. The Steve Bigo campus has the Department of Student Counseling and Health, which offers four services to promote and support student mental and physical health. The Student Counseling Center, the Careers Resource Center, the HIV and AIDS Center, and the Isolempilo Campus Health which provides daily public health care services, family planning, and HIV testing and counseling. The Steve Bigo campus also has the Department of Student Housing and Residence. This will be your home away from home. The department provides accessible, affordable accommodation conducive to learning in a safe and healthy environment whilst providing opportunities for resident student empowerment and advancement. The residence advisors and the house committee representatives ensure that your personal, social and academic development is achieved through participation in proactive programs. The library. The DUT library is a multi-site service, providing library and information services in all DUT campuses, inclusive of workshops in academic literacies, referencing, plagiarism, and book loans. You may also access the Student Academic Support and Development Unit of the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. This unit is also situated in the library and it offers academic and psychosocial support through the residence educational program, first year student experience and academic advising. Written Campus, a course within the Faculty of Health Sciences and the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics are based on this campus. The Written also has campus protection offices, hotel school and the chiropractic, homeopathy, somatology and dental clinics. Amos Sultan Campus This campus housed the Faculty of Management Sciences and its courses. Other offices such as the Inobiz, DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Center for Social Entrepreneurship, Finance, Caches, the BM Patel Library, Alumni Relations and Development, City Campus, a home for creatives. This campus has the Faculty of Arts and Designs. All other student services and academic support departments are also available on this campus. Brickfield Campus, an extension of Faculty of Arts and Design. Students within the Department of Fashion and Textile study on this campus. The Midlands Center is made up of two campuses, namely Indomiso Campus and Riverside Campus. Indomiso Campus is located right at the heart of Imbali Township. This campus has the School of Education, Nursing, and civil engineering together with the information technology. All student services and academic development departments such as Indomiso Library, Student Housing and Residence Life, InnoBiz, DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Sport Administration, Student Academic Support and Development Unit, Finance and Caches, Student Counseling and Health, and Financial Aid. Riverside Campus. Riverside Campus is located at Scottville. This campus has eight academic departments, namely Applied Management Sciences, Ecotourism, Public Management, Human Resource Management, Cost and Management Accounting, Public Relations and Communications Management, Business Information Systems, Business Administration, Financial Accounting, and all student services and academic support departments. All our academic and support staff members 
are well trained and well equipped to ensure a smooth campus experience and holistic support throughout your academic journey. Sanbunani, Dumelang, Absheni, Dimachironi, Huyamora, good morning, and welcome to Durban University of Technology Institution Wide Integrated First Year 2022 Orientation. My name is Zwarele Ngubane, the Director of Advancement and Alumni Relations at DUT, and I'm honored to be your program director for today. The Institution Wide Integrated First Year Orientation is a comprehensive program designed to introduce and orientate first-year students to the array of services, facilities, and aspects of university life unique to the Durban University of Technology. The objective of first-year orientation is to provide and expose incoming first-year students with tools and essential information that they will need to be ready to become successful students. First of all, on our program, we're going to be having Dr. Moregu, who is the Dean of Students, who is going to deliver the opening remarks and the message of support. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Moregu. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome you to the Durban University of Technology for the academic year 2022. The academic year 2021 was challenging due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, through our concerted efforts of regularly wearing masks, sanitizing, keeping social distancing, and vaccination, we will reduce both the risk of infection and worse, hospitalization from coronavirus. DUT has a COVID-19 policy, which we all must familiarize ourselves with. It is our duty and responsibility to ensure that we adhere to this policy, thereby ensuring a safe environment for all of us. Despite the pandemic, the university was able, through multimodal teaching and learning, to complete the academic year 2021. Now, more than ever before, we need to use technology effectively to ensure that teaching and learning take place. We appreciate that you made DUT, you are university of choice, where you can prepare for your career in your chosen field. DUT provides an enabling environment for students to engage in teaching, learning, research, and student life. We strive for excellence and innovation in knowledge enhancement and scholarly activities in a safe living space. Diversity is one of our cornerstones and we believe in ethos that respects inclusivity, openness, and collegiality among staff and students. As an institution, we endeavor for an effective and efficient holistic student life cycle to ensure that our graduates are not only instilled with entrepreneurial skills and knowledge, but are well-grounded citizens. Through different departments, namely academic support, health and counseling, operational sport, and student structure, structures, you will find your stay at DUT rewarding. Familiarize yourself with the student handbook, the DUT calendar, and all the rules governing your qualification. We need to live by our core values and principles of respect, honesty, transparency, integrity, diversity, innovation, fairness, professionalism, commitment, compassion, and excellence. And also the vision that 
by 2030, our people will be creative, innovative, and adaptive to changes in the world. As I conclude, you have created a lifelong connection with DOT as alumni. Once again, welcome to the academic year 2022. We wish you all of the best and an enjoyable academic journey as we achieve greatness together. Thank you. Thank you very much to Dr. Moregu, the Dean of Students, for those words of encouragement and support to our parents and first-year students. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to hear from Dr. Mulidi, who is the Midlands Campus Director, who is also going to deliver some opening remarks. And as you'll know, we are located on both uh, the Peter Maritzburg as well as the Durban areas. So now we're going to hear from Dr. Mulidi, the Midlands Campus Director. Hello, I am Dr. Joe Mulidi. I'm the Director here for the DUT Midlands campuses. I want to extend a warm welcome to you and also thank you for choosing DUT. Who are we without you? We are here to service you. So if you come here, that means now you are in our good, capable hands. So I wanna thank you for being part of our family. I promise you, you are going to have a good time at DUT. And I wanna do what I'm good at. I'm gonna quickly run to my slide deck and share with you a few slides to show you what you are going to get here at DUT. I'm going to do this in four minutes. I only have about four minutes. Now, let's go to my slide deck. Right, I want to welcome you to DUT. This is one of DUT's campuses. This is Indumiso campus. You can see it's a clean and beautiful campus, and I hope you will keep our campuses clean. Now, DUT has about seven campuses. Five of them are at the coast, and two of them are here in the Midlands. So you will be attending in one of these campuses. For those who are in the Midlands, you are under my care, and I look forward to working with you. I am privileged to be the director for the two DUT Midlands campuses. Now there are about 32,000 students, give and take, the number changes slightly, but so you, you will be one of these 32 thousand students who made a choice to be a DUT. You're going to make good friends. You will work with about 1,700 staff members that we have. These are excited people who look forward to taking care of you. See, I gave you some statistics now. So welcome again. Now you will be in one of the six faculties. I don't know which faculty you selected, but I don't know there are executive deans, who are looking forward to working with you, HODs, lecturers, and a whole lot of people who look forward to making sure that you get the best education. Now, if you are in the Midlands, there are some of the courses that are, you can only, the degrees that you can only find here in the Midlands. For example, civil engineering is here in the Midlands. Our nurses get training in the Midlands. Our teachers get training in the Midlands. And we look forward to working with you. You're going to hear us talk a lot about Envision 2030. This is the strategy that we are implementing so that we can go and make a difference to the society. Remember where you come from, they are waiting for you to come and help them. They need help. So we have developed a strategy that you're going to hear about. Be interested. Go around asking, what is this Envision 2030? And we'll give you more details. These are some of our staff members here in the Midlands. They are excited. They are committed. They are looking forward to giving you the best that they've got. We've got buildings that are new. We, we've got auditoriums that look good. We've got the best laboratories to train you. And I want you to take advantage of all these good laboratories. We've got best libraries that you need to go in because we are who we are because of the time we spent in the libraries. We want you to become a doctor. The only way you can make the best out of your life is to hit the books. Remember, we've got entrepreneurship centers that are looking forward with, which has inspiring spaces so that you can have spaces to meet with other entrepreneurs. Remember, sometimes it's difficult to get a job after graduating. So enterprise, think of innovative ideas and you will find stuff that is committed to help you with ideation, pre-incubation, incubation, so that your idea become a success. Who knows? Maybe you're the next billionaire and I'm looking forward to helping you become that billionaire. Here's what I want from you. 2021 is gone. You are now in 2022. I want you to have the best strategy for the next four or five years so that you know 
how to achieve the vision that you set forth for yourself. You can only become the best vision of yourself if you have got a strategy. In 2026, we will revise your strategy again and make sure you start your graduate school, become do your master's, PhD, and become doctors and all that stuff. Here are the things you need for your vision. There are about six of them. First is the vision. What are you becoming? Some of you are becoming engineers, doctors, nurses, teachers, but you need to have a clear vision because everything you do need to align to that vision. The second thing is you need to be in the right environment. Hence, you selected to be a DUT now. So DUT is your environment that will help you achieve your vision. The third thing that you need is your capabilities. You need to learn, learn relevant things in your classroom, outside the classroom that will help you achieve that vision. You also need to behave accordingly. You are now a big boy, you're big girls. You're not in high school anymore. So you need to behave like big people. So you need to review and write down the new behaviors that you need. If you behave out of order, we kick you out of the university. For you to behave accordingly, you need to know what the values are for the university. The university has values. Be curious. Find out what the values are and make sure your personal values are aligned with the university's values and those values help you achieve your vision. The last thing you need is your identity. And you ask a question, who am I? Who am I? You need to define your identity, your character, so that your character helps you achieve your vision. You see, I told you there's more things you're going to learn, but ultimately start with a clear vision of who you want to become and then the rest will follow through. So this is just some tips. You're going to do a lot of this seminar so that you can learn, so that we make you become the best version of yourself and go address society problems. So this is the kind of things that we do in the gray spaces is where you need to complete and fill. And I hope that before the year ends, you would have completed this type of a thing. If you don't know where to get it, just ask. There's a guy called Dr. Joe, the coach, who's going to help you become the best version. At the end of it, our students are all committed. They graduate in time and we hope to see you graduate so that you make the department proud. You make our country proud. So that's just some few tips I wanted to share with you. And I welcome you to DUT and I hope you're going to make us proud. Thank you for joining and I hope to engage with you very soon. Thank you very much to Dr. Muliti for those words of encouragement and support to our parents as well as our first year students. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to hear from the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Durban University of Technology, Professor Tandwa Mtembu, who is going to deliver his welcome message. Good day to you all. On behalf of council, management, staff, students, and the entire DUT community, my first task today is to congratulate you on passing your grade 12 Congratulations. You passed your metric well enough to be admitted to the programs you had applied for at DUT. And given the challenges you had to grapple with in your metric year as a result of COVID-19, rotational sessions you had to endure and all, you are surely made of sterner stuff. You are highly determined, focused and goal oriented to say the least. We are very proud of you. Congratulations again. I would be remiss if I fail to give a special welcome to your parents, guardians and family who are with us today. Thanks for raising and supporting them with a sense of good values and principles, with all the resources you have through thick and thin. Most importantly, thanks for the great choice they and yourselves made to study at this history-making university. So welcome to university. Welcome not just to a university, but a university of technology. Welcome to DUT, one of the top five universities in South Africa. Being at university ushers in a critical stage in your personal, intellectual, academic, and professional development. You will certainly experience significant and life-changing events and developments that will change your life for good. All of these will be of great benefit to your personal good and that of your family and the public good too. Without your love of good values and principles, and DOT has quite a number that you must not only familiarize yourself with, but live. 
We'll find a genie to sell Kenya's eye. Ninsim be enging my tie. You'll just be like a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal, whatever qualification you will have earned if you don't have those good values and principles. In the next few days and weeks, you will begin to realize that unlike in high school, where there is heavy dependence on teachers, university requires a great measure of initiative and independence in the work you do. You have been admitted to and will enroll in a program at the end of which you should be the master of the knowledge and high level intellectual and professional skills that that program is about. It's about you. It's not about your parents, your lecturer, your friend, your professor. It's about you. DUT seeks to produce creative, innovative and adaptive graduates whose contributions to the broader society before and after they exit our university will be impactful. Part of the preparatory work your lecturers and professors will take you through includes critical thinking and analysis. As a university student, you cannot just say or do as others say or do. You don't just shout old and hackneyed, hackneyed slogans and chants without a critical analysis there of facts and evidence, values and principles, reason and logic, dialogue and debate are the hallmarks of university education and university life. If you have come here for something else, perhaps a meaningless certificate by cheating, please don't waste your money. This place is not for you. Embrace this exciting journey to freedom of mind and thought and behavior. You'll surely pro be provided with all the arsenal to traverse and navigate it, tread carefully. Its terrain is rugged with no, no, no one to ever level it for you. It has hills and valleys, cliffs and plains, twists and turns. There are many pirates along the way, drugs, demagogues who call themselves activists, activists and all that might lead you astray. South Africa is experiencing many repulsive and social and economic pro problems. In our communities, we see people driving around in expensive cars, dressed in designer clothes, living in posh houses, and generally being ostentatious about their riches, particularly when they are ill-gotten. There may not even be facts and evidence, values and principles, reason and logic to justify those riches. Knowing that some of those flaunters of ill-gotten riches hardly went to school, let alone to university, you may begin to doubt the foundational value and import of university education. But it's the engineers university produce that design and make those fancy and expensive cars. Sadly, the measure of success has been torpedoed to ownership of material things and not the intellect, high level skills and innovations that produce those things in the first place. Scientific discoveries geared towards combating COVID-19 and the tapering off of the Omicron strain are just irrefutable evidence that science and innovation are the way to our common survival as humanity. I cannot guarantee that university education, and in particular, a DUT qualification will make you successful one day. It's really more about what you put in it. What we guarantee though, is the knowledge and high level skills and the innovation and entrepreneurial flair to make these useful to society and in the process, gainful to you and your family and the broader society. What we guarantee, though, is a culture of reason and logic, facts and evidence, dialogue and debate to advance humanity, your family and yourselves in ways that are embedded in strong values and principles. What we guarantee is that the award of a certificate, diploma or degree at the end of your program will be as potent as you would have made it to be as you traverse your academic journey. It's about you, your mind, your thoughts, your behavior, and what you represent and not just present out there in the world. If you cheated through that journey, that award will be meaningless and worthless. No wonder you might find yourself not just unemployed, but unemployable because you've got nothing. Through you, 
your thoughts, your speech, your behavior, and what you represent, potential employees will either discover the emptiness and fakeness of your qualification or its resourcefulness and authenticity. So remain steadfast, truthful, and principled so that the qualification will widen your horizons, open up new vistas, demonstrate your resourcefulness and authenticity. Success in that way will be guaranteed. You are setting off on your university journey at a time the world, and South Africa in particular, is moving from one crisis to another. The future of this world and this country is not ours as the older people, but yours, our youth. It requires new and fresh ideas and innovations from you, not old and hackneyed slogans and chants, as I said earlier. Such will not come out of thin air, but from your mastery of critical thinking and analysis, from your knowledge and high level skills, and from your creativity and innovations, and from your entrepreneurial flair. Apportioning blame to history does not change the history and usher in a bright future. Apportioning blame to bad choices your parents made in their youth does not correct those bad choices and give you the right choices for the future. Apportioning blame to your social political environment and the quality of your schooling does not change this and brighten your future. What will brighten your future are ideas, creativity, innovations focused unstintingly on building that future right now in the present, right from today. I said earlier on that being at university ushers in a critical stage in your personal, intellectual, academic, and professional development. Most of what I said earlier suggests the high premium we place on intellectual, academic, and professional excellence and success. While all of these aspects of excellence and success are important, personal and social development are equally important. At the end of your journey, we wish to see you having developed holistically and become a well-rounded human being. DUT has a range of personal and social development programs and projects in which students may participate. I urge you to join these programs, meet new people, and learn from them. So many of our students' social innovation and development initiatives that help to build communities around us, win in national and international co competitions, be part of that success, be part of the impact we are making as DOT. As I end my welcome remarks, please pay attention to your thoughts, your values and principles, your behavior. They prejudge either failure or success in this educational journey. There are small and big things too we do every day, every day. They end up defining who we are as individuals and as a people. They give us identity. They build our brand, personal or institutional. If what you do every day is not helping you to achieve your dreams of excellence and success, introduce those tiny incremental changes and stick with them until they become second nature. Dedicate yourself to constant change. Pursue your dreams unrelentingly. Be consistent. You'll be surprised at the remarkable results you'll achieve once you take charge of your own thoughts and behavior in lecture halls, in your residence, or wherever you live, in all spaces, internal and external to the university. Dare to educate yourself. Dare to live. Dare to be exemplary. Dare to succeed. And once again, welcome to DUT. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Mtembu, for those wonderful words of encouragement and welcome to our students and parents. I'm sure all the students are now ready and invigorated to take on the 2022 academic year. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now hear from the managers, heads of departments, and colleagues from the various key departments and units at DUT who will share with us what their departments have to offer and how you as students can maximize on your journey at DUT. Good day students, welcome to DUT. I'm here representing the finance department. I'm going to talk about NASFAS bursaries, other bursaries and undergraduate scholarship award for students. Let us start with the NASFAS related matters. 
what is our responsibility as that section or as a department? The office ensures that all NASFAS or NGO coded students are cleared for registration. Ensures that registration templates are sent to NASFAS timelessly. We also process refunds for qualifying funded students who paid initial deposit. We also ensure that student allowances are paid per DHEAD guidelines on the dates scheduled by financial aid and finance data offices. Let us come to NASFAS registration template process. What is the registration template? It's the total cost of the fees of the student that is sent to NASFAS. We call it NASFAS registration template. A student must be registered for a course funded by NASFAS. Debtors sends registration data to NASFAS, including study costs. NASFAS links the students with the cost and pays fees as per information received from debtors. Students are advised not to move from one residence to another to avoid additional cost on your account, which may not be covered by NASFAS. For further queries, please contact us on the following email addresses as uh, sponsors Devon at dut.ac.za, sponsors PMP at dut.ac.za, debtors Devon at dut.ac.za, debtors PMP at dut.ac.za. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mzwanile Kumalo and I'm working at the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching as a teaching, learning, and development practitioner. And particularly, I am from the Student Academic Support Unit. It's responsible for your holistic development and success. So we do so through our programs, namely the First Year Student Experience, the Resident Educational Program, the Residence Literary Society, academic advising, and our new baby on the blog, which is the second year student experience. All these initiatives are implemented to make sure that we assist you and support you through your transition from basic education into the higher education sector and make sure that you adapt to the ways of learning and ways of becoming as they are implemented in the higher education space, but also we support you through your academic programs, through the Resident Educational Program, which of course is a program that provides extra support to modules that are categorized as at risk or those that are historically difficult for students. Academic advisors are also available to help you with advising in all issues relating to your academic work. At DUT, we implement a blended approach, which is the contact sessions or must-to-must -must sessions that you may have with your lecturers, or an online approach where we are using Microsoft Teams as a medium to conduct learning and teaching. All these services that are offered in your faculties and also in the student services sector are there to make sure that you graduate on record time, that you succeed and you do not face any difficulties that you may experience, particularly throughout your journey as a DUT student. So please make sure that you visit our offices um, at the library, both in the Devon and also in the Midland Center. We also are there to make sure that we train you with basic computer skills and also on how to navigate all the systems that we have at DUT that will help you for your own learning. I've mentioned earlier the Microsoft Teams platform. We also have other learning management systems such as the Moodle and also ITS, where most of your academic lecture notes will be uploaded on and most of your learning uh, uh, materials will also be uploaded on. So please make sure that you keep in contact with us in our offices and make sure that you do visit us should you have any challenge or if you want your skills 
to be enhanced and for you to be able to succeed holistically within the Durban University of Technology. San Bonani, welcome to DUT. Sian Bingele, la Sia Bonga, Wutini Kete, DUT as the university who pursue your careers. Congratulations of doing well in your metric. My name is Utemba Letu Fihlela. I'm from the Office of Legal and Governance. Our Office of Legal and Governance reports to UDVC people and operations. Um, our office, the way it's structured, it's, it's divided into two. There's one section that deals with um, student disciplinary matters, and then there is another section that deals with other issues of giving advices to a university or any other legal matters that may be the university may be facing. So personally, I deal with AMA student disciplinary matters. Let's concentrate on that. As you know, with each and every household, there are rules. Same with EDUT. We also have our own rules. So we have a general handbook. Please go to our website and familiarize yourself with the general handbook for students. That is what I will call it our Bible. It has all the rules of the university. Please also go to our website and familiarize yourself with the policies. Nutella says Patinigale and enjoy your stay with the university. Congratulations. Good day. I am John Pillay, Senior Officer the Department of Protection Services. The Protection Service Department is entirely responsible for the safety of people and property at the Durban University of Technology. Whenever a person enters the DUT sites, the campuses and residences, the first line of contact are the security officers at each of the control rooms. We have control rooms at the campuses at Durban and Midlands and also a selective residences as well. The persons at the control room are responsible to attend to students' complaints, reporting of crime and incidents, and when you have other queries or needing direction to a lecture venue. The protection services consist of the Operations and Investigations Division, Card Production and the Parking Permit Unit, the CCTV Division, the Administration Division as well. The physical functions of security are undertaken by Isikova Security Services, who are contracted to the Durban University of Technology. Mr. Bongani Derek Mduga is the Director of Protection Services and oversees all the operations at the Durban and Midlands campuses. On completion of your registration, you will be issued with a student card. This student card will be requested of you at each of the access points on entry. They will be requested of you by the security officer and also at the residences as well. Lost or stolen students' cards must be reported to the card production unit where a replacement can be done for you as well. 2022, the student cards for 2022 will be done at the card production unit and you will be requested to produce your vaccine certificate or vaccine card. Should you require parking on campus, you will, require, you will be required to produce your driver's license and complete a form where payment is expedited and thereafter you will be issued with a parking permit. We have designated parking for students on all of the campuses. Remember also on entry to any of the campuses or residences, your vehicle can be subjected to a search. I also want to bring to your attention 
that there are prohibited items. That means items that will not be allowed on campus. Drugs and alcohol is number one. Number two, firearms and dangerous weapons. Remember also that the DUT is a firearm free zone. Persons found in possession of such items can be prosecuted. Gender-based violence. The Durban University of Technology, the Protection Services Department, view gender-based violence in a very serious light. Such cases are reported and investigated and appropriate action is taken against known offenders. The matters are also reported to the South African Police Services. We encourage all students, should you be a victim of crime, please report timelessly to any of the control rooms so the appropriate investigation can proceed and the offenders the possibility of the offenders being brought to book is even greater. We pride ourselves as a safe campus. And with the assistance of the CCTV cameras at specific points, hot spot as well, we use this to assist us in investigation, monitoring of activity, and other related activity on campus. We have CCTV cameras at the access control points. We have CCTV cameras at uh, points that are regarded as hot spots as well. The CCTV control room is open 24 hours. That means that the security officers monitor all cameras over a period of 24 hours. Whilst this be said, we encourage all students to take care of their personal property. The Durban campuses are situated alongside the busiest bus and taxi ranks in this region. It is frequented by hundreds and thousands of people daily. And whilst this be said, it is also frequented by criminals that want to prey on our students. Should you walk out of campus, please take care of your personal belongings, walk in groups, and be aware of your surroundings. We ask also that you adhere to all COVID-19 protocols. You will not be allowed on campus if you do not have a face mask on. On entry, you will be scanned for your temperature by the security officers or by a clinic staff. You will also be requested to produce your vaccine certificate or card. Whilst on campus, please maintain social distancing. Remember also that gatherings on campus are not permitted. The Protection Services 24 Hours Emergency Line is 031-373-2181 or 2182. Thank you. A very warm welcome to all of you to the Deben University of Technology. E University, My name is Eliwe Kemanenyati. I'm the head of the department in student housing and res life in the Midlands. I just want to say welcome to all of you as our first years. We are so excited to have you for this year, uh, academic year of uh, 2022. In the student housing, we've got five uh, sections, which is the res life, uh, finance, in source um, residences, our source residences and administration. And also we do have a team of residence leadership which comprises of your residence advisors, which um, to some places are known as house mothers, house, house fathers, 
your then um, warden, residence warden, and also the house committees, which are your elected leadership, elected by your very own students. So you're going to have a very, very exciting time and moments. Also, we do cater for you with many programs that are so exciting, energizing, you know, everything is there. I always say residences is not all about accommodation, but it's a place of development where we'll develop you. So your RAs, including the, your house committees, they will be arranging programs. I'm just going to mention the few. Uh, we've got a residence uh, sports, residence league, we've got um, uh, entertainment, edutainment, you know, your poetry sessions. We also got uh, tutorials, you know, where we make sure that uh, to those difficult um, uh, subjects you are catered for, we call it REP, Residence Educational Program. It's part of, of, of us working with the Department of Kelt. Also, we do have other various programs. We've got uh, Women in Leadership, that means your RAs, your mothers will sit with all those ladies and talk to. We've got Insiga as well. Um, we've got Ikagaza. We've got uh, GCI, uh, where they run a very, very beautiful program called One Residence, One Garden. We also make sure that in our residences, we do take care of the challenge and we do note the challenge of poverty and all that. So that is being catered for. So please make sure that we, you use the available information from our website and also you can visit our offices both in Devon and Peter Maritzburg and also make sure that you reach out to our residence advisors. Those are friendly, loving people who will be taking care of you. Thank you. Greetings to our 2022 first years. We are from the Institutional COVID-19 Educational Task Team. I am Nundumiso Shabangu, and this is my colleague. Greetings, my name is Andy Lemasugu. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the DET family. As you know, the world is currently battling with the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused a major disruptions on our lives and livelihoods. For the past two years, we've been struggling with this pandemic as it has not only negatively affected our health system, economy, but also affected the sector of higher education. Hence, it was in March 2020 where the Deben University of Technology took upon itself to establish COVID-19 task team. This task team was established to strengthen the coordination of COVID-19 response measures within the university. Then, how can you protect yourself as a DUT student? Firstly, you must be fully vaccinated. Avoid large gatherings. Wear your mask at all times, which must cover your mouth and your nose. Also, wash your hands or sanitize them regularly. As you are coming to DUT, this is what would be expected from you as a student based on our regulations and rules for COVID-19. Firstly, before coming to campus, you must screen yourself using head check, which is accessible at headcheck.a.higherhealth.ac.za. Also, in residences, visitors are not allowed, but I'm sure colleagues from student housing will cover that. Should you test positive for the COVID-19. Isolation, accommodation will be provided for you if it is available. Thank you. Thank you so much, colleague. Now, as you know, one of the best ways to curb the, the pandemic, it is for us to get vaccinated. So DUT has introduced three policies which are in line with what the National Health has introduced. So, DUT has adopted the three policy choices on vaccination for both staff and students. The policy, it is to ensure that the community is protected. Now, the first choice. So, this choice is for each member of the DUT community to be able to access the DUT campuses and all the DUT infrastructures, like your residences. So, for this one, you need to be fully vaccinated. So everyone coming on campus and everyone staying in residences, you must be fully vaccinated. Now, DOT has established as well 
vaccination centers which are on campus. There is one that is based in Steve Bigel campus which is accessible to all DOT students and staff. Our second choice. So this choice is basically for those who are not yet ready to be vaccinated. So as a member of the DOT community, if you do not wish to vaccinate, you must then continue with the online services um, and, 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 and tutorials. If you are required to be on campus, you must undertake the COVID-19 PCR test, which should be done every 48 hours if you want to be on campus. Now the last choice, which is the third choice, this one, as a member of the DUT community, if you refuse to be fully vaccinated and to provide the negative PCR test, then you must stay at home and you must do everything online. But should you be required at any point to come onto campus or any of the DUT facilities, you will be required to produce a, a COVID ne negative test. So this is all to protect you and to protect those who are closest to you in the DUT community. We appreciate all of you and we thank you. May you enjoy this year and ensure that all the DUT um, COVID rules are regulated indeed. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I trust you have enjoyed the program we have delivered for you today. We are now coming towards the end of our program. I would first of all just like to thank all the heads of departments and the managers who have delivered the various presentations for today and would also like to wish you well as, as the first year students as well as the parents for 2022. We thank you for your participation and all the best with the academic year. Thank you.